Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, this is uh, Jeremy Medeiros and JP Ruja um, uh, coming from Nonsuch Island, Bermuda, on a beautiful um, winter day, actually, on the 20th of January 2022. And uh, we're out here in Nonsuch now, briefly, um, to take a look at the um, pair of cahows in the Cahow Cam 2 nest. Um, the male's been back for a couple of days already. He arrived early and uh, the female bird just arrived last night, the uh, night of the 19th to 20th of January. And uh, as usual with these things, uh, she laid her egg promptly, probably within an hour or so. So I'm just um, going to take a quick look at each bird, take a look at their body condition and their weight, and uh, then take a very quick look at the egg and try and get an initial uh, lay weight because this is when they're at their heaviest and uh, they will lose a little bit of weight as they develop. Um, and that's something that we want to tie down on. Um, I'm not going to candle the egg at this point because uh, there doesn't seem to be any appearance of the embryo and such until it's at least uh, four days or so old. So it wouldn't make any sense to candle it at this point. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to have my hands pretty full with this because I'm going to try and take each bird out in turn, weigh them quickly, and then quickly take the egg out as well while we're straining them in order to, um, to just uh, get a look at how everybody's doing. So it's pretty closed in around this nest. Hey there. So yeah, so here's the female. The female is the one that's incubating by looks of it right now. So I'm going to do her first. I think it's a female. Get her in. Uh, and as expected, the other bird has actually gone into the tunnel of some most likely not going to be able to get that bird but that's okay because i already weighed him a day or two ago so what i'm going to do quickly is just weigh her check her band i'm pretty sure this is the female yeah yeah he is well over he's like 450 grams or he was a day or two ago uh let's see this bird is 300 and 39 so minus the weight of the bag which is 15 339 329 324 324 so yeah that's a typical weight uh, 324 grams and just check her band number of course if it is the female it'll be e0172 which I'm almost 100% sure that's what it'll be. Yep, E0172. Yep, and we also know it's a female because she has this injured foot, uh, which is almost like a almost like a gecko claw now. Yeah, she's got a wing out. I'll just restrain that gently. And it uh, doesn't seem to hinder her at all right now. You know, it's fully healed. The injury happened about three years ago and she's raised two chicks, two healthy chicks since then. So, okay, so I'm gonna get her back in, quiet her down. I don't want to, you know, disturb them any more than I absolutely have to. Okay, now because I can't get the male bird, I'm not gonna try and ruck him out. So I'm just very quickly gonna take a look and. It's again a small egg. It's they, this, these birds tend to always produce a smaller egg than say the Cahal Cam One, which is like a 60 gram egg or no 58 grams, I think it is. And uh, the egg looks good. It's a, it is like a little bit small. Normally, it's they lay eggs that are somewhere around 56 to 57 grams. So I'm just going to take a very quick look at this. I'm going to try and do this very quickly so that there's minimal disturbance. And let's see, 70. Um, okay, so 70 grams. And then I have to figure out the weight of this bag. This is one of my... Okay. 
And of course, I always try and treat these eggs with the gentlest of care. There we go. Yep. So, literally, this egg was laid like less than 24 hours ago. Okay, so I'm going to put that back in. Put the nest back in place. I'm going to get the weight of the bag. Okay, okay, so it's only 11 grams, so 69, so about 58 grams actually, it's heavier than I thought, so, so that's actually a, a good weight for that. Okay, so like I can say I'm going to let her join her partner in the nest and um, things usually go where they rush back in and then within a minute uh, one of them will be back on the egg again incubating. She was the one doing the incubating and I think the females seem to have first dibs on the eggs and when she leaves in a day or two which she might leave tonight or the night after to head back out to sea and feed to recover from laying a, a egg which is almost a quarter of her body mass and um, you know, she uh, will disappear and then she'll relinquish control of the egg to her mate. And then he'll spend the next uh, week to two weeks um, incubating the egg until she's recovered and comes back. And then they do about five day shifts from that point on uh, for, for about 50 days, 50 to 53 days. So, um, yeah, everything looks good. Like I say, no need to harass the male and such. And I don't like to harass them any more than I have to. So, beautiful little bird. It's quite small for a cahal, but very, very good. And um, this is, in fact, one of the most successful pairs of cahals in the whole Nunsuch breeding colony. It's not the most successful one because that one has a perfect record. It's produced, I think it is, uh, 10 chicks in 10 years. This one has been nesting a bit longer for 12 years and they've produced 10 chicks in 12 years. So that's like an 80 or so percent uh, breeding success rate, over 80%. So they're, they're as going as good as possible. Most, most birds produce a chick every other year, you know, about a 50% uh, breeding success. So these guys are way ahead of the mark. Um, so uh, yeah, everything looks as good as we could possibly hope. Both birds seem to be in great condition. Uh, the egg is, you know, like I'm saying, it's, it's about average size and it's a good weight. And uh, hopefully in the next week or so, um, you know, we'll be able to candle it properly and then we can see if it's fertile or not. So everything, you know, I can't, can't say anything more than that. Everything's looking good. Uh, we know the egg in the Cajal Cam 1 nest is fertile to this point. Um, and we'll keep monitoring it every couple of weeks uh, through the rest of the incubation period. So from a, a beautiful winter, midwinter day on Nunsuch Island, uh, from Jeremy and JP, um, everybody have a great day. And um, yeah, we'll see you next time. All the best.